So five components. What are the components? Number one, breathing tube. Okay, and corrugated breathing tube. Number two, your reservoir bag. And number three, your adjustable pressure relief valve or APL valve. And number four, your connector. Number five, you will be having the fresh gas flow continuously from the anesthesia machine that is fifth fresh gas flow okay these are the five components of an ideal breathing circuit so actually i have drawn mostly the meplesin a part actually here actually what meplesin a part uh, is having is actually normal characteristics is you know the breathing system is classified uh, depending upon the usage into open semi-open semi-closed and closed circuit in that we are discussing the semi or closed circuit that is meplesian circuit in that i am discussing about meplesian a today okay remaining part i will be discussing in a separate video so first today you will be seeing the meplesian a part you know meplesian a part the breathing tube will be the same and your apl valve will be present close to the patient end whereas the fresh gas flow is present away from the patient end that is close to the machine end fresh gas flow number one fresh gas flow is close to the machine end and the apl valve is close number second point is apl valve is close to the patient end and approximate length of the breathing tube or a breathing circuit is actually 110 centimeter and the reservoir bag is also present on the machine end of the your uh, meplesian a okay so the meplesian a is most commonly used for which ventilation is spontaneous ventilation it is more effective in delivering the spontaneous ventilation in patients okay spontaneous ventilation adult patient meplesian a is the most commonly used circuit of choice whereas for control ventilation your meplesian d that is your Baines modification and meplesian e and f is most commonly used in your pediatric age groups okay so now we will see how it is helps in your spontaneous ventilation and uh, why it is not useful in controlled ventilation individually so in spontaneous ventilation i have made diagram before itself this is the same thing your fresh gas flow will come fgf will come inside and your uh, this is your reservoir back breathing tubes apl valve and patient end and this is the machine end. okay i just made the different uh, diagrams this is the alveolar dead scale different colors i have made so that to differentiate effectively better so whenever just spontaneous breathing the apl valve is anyhow it is what the apl valve is open open there is uh, no closed apl valve during spontaneous respiration when the patient tries to take a breath what happens? the fresh gas flow will come inside the breathing circuit and then patient will inspire the gases it will fill the reservoir back and then it fill the breathing circuit and then patient will create a negative pressure here so that fresh gas will grow to the patient so during inspiration your fresh gas flow what happen it will go to inside the patient okay there is no leakage here because apl valve is open but even though but there is no leakage because negative pressure all the gases have been confined to go inside the patient now what happened inspiration has completed now expiration is started so what happened expiratory gases now try to come to the breathing circuit so expiratory gases when try to come what happened there will be two mixture of gases initial anatomical dead space gases will come followed by your alveolar dead space will gases will come so anatomical dead space gases will uh, usually come and build in the first part of the tube so your anatomical dead space gases okay will come and fill initial part followed by which your alveolar dead space gases will be in the circuit and this is this color is alveolar dead space gases okay but meanwhile this is uh, while this happening uh, expiration is happening this is actually happening during the expiratory pause period so our fresh gas flow will started to come even the expression is started so the pressure inside system uh, initial part will decrease so the fresh gas flow will come in and it start filling your breathing circuit and you will start filling the your mid part up to mid part of circuit started filling so when the expression has occurred the pressure uh, inside the system is more so when the pressure system uh, is more what happened the apl valve will now started to 
APL valve already open APL valve, just spontaneous breathing. So APL valve is already open. So pressure is started to build inside the circuit. So what happened? The alveolar gases will try to escape now. So the alveolar gases will go to the atmosphere. Here there is no scavenging system, nothing was there in Mepleson A. This is also called Magill. The name is Magill who discovered that so Magills. So the alveolar dead space gases will initially go. Followed by which what happen is in the fresh gas flow is anyhow the fresh gas flow is coming well and this fresh gas flow is coming well and the pressure is more inside the circuit and the patient tries to take a next inspiration what happen is if uh, it is depending upon the fresh gas flow the rebreathing is possible or not because you know that uh, uh, your physiology anatomical dead space gases anyhow it is not containing carbon dioxide it is only con it is not contributing to the ventri oxygenation but it contains the oxygen part in that so the if the fresh gas flow is high then what happens is actually your excess this uh, alveolar dead space gas will be vented out through the your APL valve and fresh gas flow remaining fresh gas flow will reach the patient suppose if fresh gas flow is less what happen is next breath the fresh gas flow from the machine end will travel i mean well your physiological dead anatomical dead space gases also will add up to that and patient will take okay decrease if there is further continue to re reduction in the fgf is maintained then the alveolar dead space gas also will stagnate then rebreathing of the carbon dioxide is possible so the fresh gas flow is you have to maintain the fresh gas flow in mepleson a is equal to minute ventilation of the patient you have to maintain the minute ventilation of the patient it is approximately 70 to 85 ml per kg per minute or average approximately 5 to 6 liters per minute in adult patient fgf should be maintained or else there will be increased incidence of rebreathing and your um, alveolar dead space gases also will go inside the patient and it is causes CO2 related uh, clinical features in the patient okay and next this is the expiration part this the same thing okay for the explaining this i have mentioned i have put another diagram so mostly I covered in that during inspiration fresh gas flow will go and during expiration of alveolar dead space and your uh, anatomic dead space gases will come during initial part because the pressure in the circuit is more your apl valve already is open so your alveolar dead spaces gases will try to escape meanwhile the next part the pressure inside the fresh gas flow continues to flow in it will push during the next inspiration it will push the excess physiological dead space gases also vented out to the atmosphere and fresh gas flow will go if the fresh gas flow is high it is maintained if the fresh gas flow is low what happened your, your uh, alveolar dead space gases also remain in the circuit and it causes a rebreathing of the circuit in the patients okay so it is most commonly used in spontaneous respiration in adult patient average flow 5 to 6 liters per minute should be maintained or 70 to 85 ml per kg per minute should be maintained for the effective ventilation so for control ventilation or uh, why it is not used well in control ventilation in control ventilation you will be initially the same thing inspiration will happen and the apl valve is partially closed so partially will close the apl valve so some of the agents will uh, escape through the some of the your uh, fresh gas will escape initially through that and it will remaining will reach the patient well, meanwhile during expiration what happen is it will fill the entire circuit even the reservoir bag is actually filled with your alveolar dead and it will your anatomical dead space and alveolar dead space gases also reaches even to the reservoir bag okay so because the apl valve is already partially closed so nothing will escape more so the even the pressure inside is continuing to build up because of the partially closed valve only little amount of gases will vent out while remaining will stay in the circuit so during for subsequent bread further addition of co2 in the circuit and the rebreathing more rebreathing is actually seen during the controlled ventilation in mepleson a so your requirement of minute ventilation and flow is very much high in controlled ventilation that why the efficacy is not uh, well achieved compared to your spontaneous ventilation it is less whereas in control ventilation it is not not well because your rebreathing of co2 is more compared to your spontaneous ventilation next thing i already told advantages of the uh, modification of your ma mepleson a is called lax modification that is 
what is the lax modification my place in a is nothing but you have here in split expiratory or in the same limb here they have separately arranged the expiratory limb which is situated inside the inspiratory limb the outside part is in the inspiratory limb and inside that is the expiratory limb so that the expiratory limb the gases will go and then it will be collected by the scavenging system is a scavenging system and it is not polluting the environment major is it is not polluting the environment the expired carbon the expired anesthetic gases is not polluting the environment that is a major advantage with that whereas the whereas in spontaneous with the maggie say pollution is more okay and you how will you check the integrity of the mapleason is first for normal mapleason yeah, you just uh, put the patient in just occlude the patient in close the apl valve and pressurize the circuit look for the deflation of bag anything is there if everything is fine there is no leakage then your reservoir bag will inflate there is no it will may sustain the pressure okay if some leakage is there then it won't sustain but in lax modification what we have to do is we have to occlude both your inner tube as well as your outer tube we have to occlude and close the apl valve now if fresh gas flow you just uh, fresh gas flow is inflowing and your bag will definitely will going to inflate if there is any leak in the inner tube because uh, there is no inner tube in the normal thing if there is leak in the inner tube what will happen actually uh, is you have to open the apl valve now sorry you have to open the apl valve now and if there is leak in the tube then the fresh gas from the reservoir bag will escape through the inner tube through the atmosphere and the bag will collapse if there is no leak no leak is there then it will sustain and bag will continuously be inflated okay that is the thing what thing first bo occlude the both ends okay now inflate uh, flash gas flow is coming inside and filling the reservoir bag if the, the apl valve is now opened okay if there is any leak in the inner tube the fresh gas flow will escape through the inner tube and then it will be transferred to the atmosphere so if a pressure in the circuit will become less and the reservoir bag will deflate so you have to check the integrity so remaining circuits uh, the place b c and d and uh, Uh, different definitions of the closed and open semi open circuit i'll be discussing in another class and if you are uh, if you like my videos please put the thumbs up button and subscribe my channel thank you guys